Microsoft just proved something that flips AI on its head. Raw size doesn't matter anymore. They've built a math model that outperforms giants hundreds of times larger, trained in just one week on only 64 GPUs. And that's not all. Alongside it, they rolled out two powerful new in-house models, a voice AI that generates a full minute of natural audio in under a second, and their first foundation language model, trained on 15,000 H100 GPUs, now rolling into Copilot. This moment isn't just progress, it's a turning point. So let's break it down. The R-Star 2 Agent. We've all heard the phrase chain of thought. It's how large language models reason, step by step, line by line, like a student showing their work on paper. The idea is simple. If a model thinks longer, it should catch its mistakes. But in practice, if it takes a wrong turn early on, it just doubles down like someone confidently working through a math problem only to stumble on a tiny error in step one. The rest collapses. Microsoft's researchers asked, what if thinking longer isn't the answer? What if the model could check its work, use tools, and adapt along the way? That's the leap behind R-Star 2. Unlike traditional models that only output text, R-Star 2 interacts with its environment. It uses agentic reinforcement learning to write Python code, run it, see the result, and decide Am I on the right track? If the numbers don't add up, it adjusts, tries again, and keeps going. It's not locked into one path. It's learning dynamically. Training at scale, smarter, not bigger. Training a model like this is chaos. Tens of thousands of tool calls hammering GPUs at once. If you run it naively, the hardware just sits idle, bottlenecked. So Microsoft engineered a distributed execution system capable of 45,000 concurrent code calls with sub-second latency. They isolated execution from training while balancing loads across CPUs and GPUs so nothing clogs. And then a breakthrough, dynamic rollout. Instead of assigning tasks blindly, the system looks at real-time GPU cache availability, making sure no chip is overloaded and none sit idle. The payoff? A frontier-level model trained in just one week on 64 AMD MI300X GPUs. That's a fraction of the cost and compute of other giants. The algorithm, GRPI. But speed isn't the only magic here. The real unlock is how they taught it. Normally in reinforcement learning, a model gets rewarded for landing on the right answer. Even if its reasoning was messy, that teaches brute force, not clarity. Microsoft flipped the script with group relative policy optimization with resampling on correct GRPOC. Instead of rewarding every correct answer, they oversampled the cleanest reasoning traces. The ones where the tool usage was efficient, the formatting crisp, the logic sound. The model still sees mistakes, but it learns to prefer elegant, high-quality reasoning. The training strategy was staged like a boot camp. Stage one, no reasoning, just instruction following and formatting tool calls correctly. Hard cap, 8,000 tokens. Accuracy jumps from near zero to 70%. Stage two, token limit expanded to 12,000, now it can tackle more complex reasoning. Stage three, all the easy problems removed. The model only faces the hardest cases. This constant pressure forced it to refine, to adapt, to evolve. Results that stun. On the AME24 benchmark, R-Star 2 scores 80.6% accuracy. On AM25, 69.8%. That's ahead of DeepSeek R1, a behemoth with 671 billion parameters and R-Star 2 does it with fewer reasoning tokens, about 10,000 on average, compared to 17,000 or more for others. Not just smarter, more efficient. Even more surprising, trained purely on math, the model shows transfer learning, handling scientific reasoning and general alignment benchmarks with strength. And when researchers peeked inside, they found something new, reflection tokens. Instead of only branching paths, the model created signals tied directly to tool feedback, literally reflecting on Python outputs, analyzing mistakes, and adjusting. This is environment-driven reasoning, not just inward thinking, but interactive, adaptive intelligence, a whole new dimension. My Voice One, but Microsoft didn't stop there. Enter My Voice One, a speech model that generates one full minute of natural high-fidelity audio in under one second on a single GPU. That's near instant narration. Perfect for assistance, podcasts, interactive devices. Built on a transformer trained across multilingual data, it handles single or multi-speaker voices with ease. Already integrated into Copilot daily summaries and available in Copilot Labs for text-to-audio stories, 
MAI Voice One isn't just fast, it's efficient enough to live inside consumer hardware. Where others require racks of GPUs, this runs on one. MAI One Preview. And then, the foundation model. MAI One Preview, Microsoft's first fully in-house large language model. Trained on 15,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs using a mixture of experts' architecture, this isn't built to dethrone GPT-4. Its mission, be excellent at instruction following, conversation, and everyday use. Emails, homework help, summaries, daily tasks. Already live on Elmar Arena for benchmarking and gradually rolling into Copilot, it's being tested in the wild. Refined with user feedback before a wide release. This isn't just about performance. It's about practicality. Closing, a turning point. Behind all of this is Microsoft's next-gen infrastructure, the custom GB200 GPU cluster, teams blending speech research, large-scale systems, and generative AI design. Their philosophy is clear. Don't just chase theory. Build models that are efficient, reliable, and usable in the real world. In one sweep, Microsoft has proven three things. Reasoning doesn't need raw size. Voice AI can be instant at consumer scale. Foundation models can be practical, not bloated. This isn't just another AI upgrade. It's a paradigm shift. The future of AI isn't bigger. It's smarter, faster, more human.